Hello! Hello, Pilipinas! Kumusta kayong lahat dyan? Hi, Mari! Hi, Kata! Oh, Good there? evening po sa inyong lahat. Okay naman. Yeah. <laughs> Alam nyo, 100 days na tayong nakakwarantin. Right. Kaya, kumusta na kaya ang ating mga kababayan? Mari, are you okay? Yes, we're all okay, good. Okay, okay kayo. Mm-hmm. Yes, and today, you know, we are welcome, by the way, no, in Push Pilipinas. No, We're gonna pray, unite, share, and hope, hope that God is gonna hear our prayers. Tonight, Mari, we're gonna answer the question, what are the top five prayer requests of people during this pandemic? So, Mari, we'll encourage our viewers uh, to join us, post your questions, post your prayer requests, post even your answered prayers. Paki-hashtag lamang po ang hashtag Push Pilipinas. So, yung ta- ang, ang sasagutin, ang topic natin is what are the top five prayer requests ng taong bayan ju- sa gitna nitong pandemic na ito. Yeah, so please post now your ano, your prayer request sa ating CBN Asia, 700 Club Asia, Superbook, at sa lahat ng outlets natin sa FB lalo na, and post your prayer request. Yes. Yeah, so okay, that, so uh, and, and, and you know, we will we will be praying for all your prayer requests tonight. So kung gusto nyo uh, mag-unite kami ni Mari in prayers, do so now. And by the way, Mari, you know, CBN Asia presents Push Pilipinas. It stands for pray, pray for your needs and requests, unite people in faith, and share your answered prayers, and we encourage you to put your hope in God. We are live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on FB of the FB pages of CBN Asia, 700 Club, I Can Break Through, and saan pa ba? And streaming tayo pala, Mari, no? Mm. Sa CBN Asia YouTube channel. Tama. Um, shout out muna tayo kay Matet, Aisha, Annalyn, and Lynn. May, si Lynn, may prayer request kata. Please pray for me po until now still bleeding due to adenomyosis. Tapos shout out din kay Aster of Pasig, uh, si Tina, prayer request from Matet. Healing po for, from bukol sa baga at ovaries, uh, ovary cyst ko po. Okay, so may prayer request tayo at mga shout out. Yeah, so so before maybe we uh, reveal to you what are the top five uh, prayer requests of our people na medyo nag-survey kasi tayo nung nakaraan, Mari, you know? Mm-hmm. At ito yung lumabas ng top five. Maybe we should proceed right now to praying for the requests nga of Matet, Aisha, Annalyn, and Lynn. Mari, do you want to begin? Si, uh, si Lynn muna. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your touch now upon her body. Father, you, you, you know you are the great healer, Lord. You can touch her body now and cause her, uh, whatever is wrong with her organs, Lord, to completely be healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that there is power in the name of Jesus and we speak now in behalf of that name, using the name yes. that is above all names, asking you to heal that body now in the name of Jesus. Kata, you want to pray for Matet? Yes, Matet, Lord God, is asking for healing from the bukol, sa baga, at saka ovary cyst daw po niya. Lord God, you're not limited, mm-hmm. Lord God, by anything. And even this cyst oh, sa ovary, sa bukol, sa baga, Panginoon, are but names, oh God. Yes. So in the name of Jesus, we're standing in prayer together with Matet in faith, oh Father God, that you are right now healing. Panginoon, yung kanyang lungs at saka yung kanyang ovaries in the name of Jesus. So, Matet, dear sister, just believe because God is moved by the faith of people. Many times in the Bible, God has said, or Jesus has said, your faith has healed you. So, in Jesus' name, may your faith heal you in Him. Amen. So, Amen. please post Amen. your prayer request and uh, your answer, pati na yung answered prayer sa inyo, sa aming comment box. And don't forget to use the hashtag Push Pilipinas. Tama po yan. And tonight, you know, Mari, di ba, like you mentioned, we are answering the top five prayer requests. We posted this question on our Facebook pages. What do you think are the top five prayer requests of people during this pand- pandemic? And out of 100 netizens who answered our question, here are the top five. And number five, Drum yes. music. Lagyan natin ng music. Brrr. Drum roll. <laughs> ano ba yung number five, Mari? Can you read the, ano, the winner? Number five is peace. People are praying na, na magkaroon silang kapayapaan sa gitna nitong pandemic na ito. 
And I think everybody wants that, di ba? Kahit ngayon mga beauty queen, they want world peace. <laughs> Hindi ba? <laughs> Pero especially during this time na nababag-habag ang lahat. Because it seems that nobody really has the answer. Di ba, Mari? Or the solution to this. Because not even uh, the world leaders has a definite response to this. Some are doing it uh, rightly or, or quickly. And some are medyo lagging behind. Ang Pilipinas, I would say, medyo uh, mababa naman yung numbers natin. Pero yeah. syempre, naiinip naman tayo na bakit hanggang ngayon naka-GCQ pa tayo. Buti nga, GCQ na, eh, no? Kesa sa ECQ, total lockdown. But I think other countries are beginning to open up. And of course, we are also beginning to open up bit by bit. But I think the security, safety, health of people is uh, paramount. And then also, also the issue of uh, nilang health, issue of financial concerns yeah. na dyan, kaya nababagabag ang kalooban natin. At, At, uh, like, uh, Sige, go ahead. No. Yeah, no, no, no. Go. I was going to say na yung, yung numbers, no, kasi binabantayin ko yung numbers noon, mga two months ago, kinakalculate ko yung numbers ng uh, cases versus the number of deaths. Uh, nung una, nung unang buwan, uh, we were hitting mga 6 six, uh, six plus percent. 6% of those of the number of cases ay namamatay. Pero uh, just a few days ago, mga 3 days ago, I used the latest statistics and bumaba na sa 3 point something na lang ang percentage ng nang namatay ng dahil sa COVID. So we were discussing it just before the show, no? Na posibleng uh, humina na ang, uh, ang, uh, ang effects nitong COVID sa uh, sa mga uh, katawan ng mga na-infect or posibleng like the doctor I was quoting earlier was saying na mas marunong na ngayon ang mga doktor. The doctors know how to treat uh, the, the patients that come in much more effectively at na na, na ano kaagad ang um, ang um, epekto ng virus sa katawan. Tsaka hindi, ang mga tao din, natuto na rin how to take precautionary measures. Mm-hmm. Di ba, natuto tayo mag-alaga sa ating mas- sarili. Gayun pa man, di ba, Mari, nandun pa rin yung fear na tuwing nalabas sila yes. ng bahay, ay baka may dumapo sa kanila. Correct. Sakit, hindi ba? So, you know, it's okay to really ask God for 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 prayers or or I mean pray to God mismo and for us to believe with you in prayer. Kasi Mari, naalala ko sa Bible, di ba? si King Solomon nagprayer request din siya kay God di ba mm-hmm. at sa dami-dami ng maari niyang hiningin ang hiningi ng prayer request ni God is to give him wisdom karunungan mari kasi he's going to lead the nation of Israel and he needed the wisdom how to run the state of the uh, of Israel and and because God was impressed no mm-hmm. with with his prayer he did not ask for life or riches you know for himself he did not even request for death for his enemies but he asked for the right thing which is the wisdom to listen and to make the right decisions right. and so god granted his request and gave him more more than wisdom he also gave him life riches and ability to defeat his enemies right. so i so we're going to pray. This is push, Filipinas. We're here to pray and to stand in faith with you. You know, and I think one of the things because I mentioned to see Solomon is we're going to pray for wisdom for you and also especially for our world, for our leaders. Okay? To sabi nga Maria, but the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So we're going to pray also for wisdom for our leaders. Mary, okay, Prayer request ay mula kay Kara. She's uh, praying. She says, "Please pray for Nagib and family. Please pray for peace, understanding, and forgiveness for each other." See, Alman, I, I understand what she's talking about here. Because <laughs> medyo dumadami ang mga problema sa loob ng bahay. Kasi nakakulong tayo ng lahat, no? Everybody oh. stuck in one place. Medyo nagaka yeah. nagaka irritahan na. Kisikisa na yan, no? Yes. Si Alman naman ang sabi. Una po, dalangin ko na maging normal na ang mundo at di magkasakit ang pamilya ko. Dalangin ko na may makain kami araw-araw, lahat magkasundo at magkaisa. Dalangin ko rin ang pinansyal at makapag-work na po ako. Naku, ilang, kasi, ilang, ilang sa atin ano, apare, uh, join um, Alma in that prayer. No? Many of us, if we don't work, we don't eat. No? Natural. So, uh, marami, uh, marami, including ourselves, we are praying with Alma. We're united in praying with Alma for that same thing. Na makabalik na tayong lahat sa trabaho uh, at hindi na tayo kakabahan na pag lumabas tayo ng ano at bumalik nga sa trabaho ay magkakasakit na tayo. So, ayan. Tulad nga na nabagit mo kanina, Kata, no? 
there's a uh, uh, na natamaan din ng uh, prayer request ni Alma sabi niya dalangin ko na may makain kami araw-araw lahat magkaasundo at magkaisa well that's also happening in uh, in in, uh, in the political world uh, mm. nagkakaibitahan din nagkakaibitahan sa media sa media, media. narangan ng media di ba ang dami mga katanungan so we, we shall begin praying right now okay. and join Mary and I in prayer so starting off uh, with a prayer request of Pat which is aligned with our top five prayer requests which is peace Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we ask for you to come and visit the homes of our people, yes. oh God. Lord, you, you said, Lord, that in everything, by prayer and petition, and even with thanksgiving, we should present our requests to you. And then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So, Father, we are following, Lord God, your instruction and your formula for us to have peace. Lord God, we present all of these prayer requests to you and we thank you that you're hearing us. Yes. Oh, Father God, and we're believing, Lord God, that you will answer our prayers. Lord God, that even in the midst of the pandemic, oh, Father God, you will visit the homes and the hearts and minds of people who have put their trust in you, O oh Father God, and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding shall guard their hearts and their minds in Christ Jesus. That even during this time, O oh Father God, hindi namin alam kung hanggat kailan malilift itong, uh, itong uh, quarantine na ito at kailan mareresolve itong pandemic na ito, yes. Panginoong Diyos. But even during this time, we put our hope mm -hmm. and trust in you. O oh God, and we, we receive your peace which surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. Father, we also pray uh, on behalf of Kara, Panginoon, and Nagib and family, Lord God, that peace, understanding, and forgiveness shall reign, Lord, in their families. Oh, Father God, may, may, may you visit, as I said earlier, visit the homes right now, Lord God, and let them receive your love. Let them receive your forgiveness, oh, Father God, because we cannot give what we do not have. Yes. Lord, but once we receive your love and forgiveness, we can freely give this to others as well. So I, our prayer, Lord God, is that you will surprise Kara, Nagib, and the family, Lord God, with peace, understanding, and forgiveness for yes. one another. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. See, Amen. Amen. Lord, in Jesus' name, we pray for Alma and her family. And uh, of course, last kata prayed, we weren't, were praying with Alma na maging normal ng mundo at hindi, na magkasak, hindi magkasakit ang pamilya niya. At uh, sumasang-ayon po kami at sumasabay sa dalangin niya na uh, may makakain sila araw-araw, Father. And uh, lahat ay magkasod at magkaisa. At magkaroon na lang sila ng financial na seguridad at makapag-work na po. Ang, ang may kaya mag-work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us in prayer. And alam po ninyo, aligned with the prayer request of uh, is it uh, Yakara, no? for peace, forgiveness, and understanding to happen in the family. Alam po ba ninyo ang top number four mm. na prayer request ng ating madlang people is the salvation of the families. Amen. So alam po ba ninyo na, na baliwala po ang ating mga prayers or ang ating mga successes and all that, they are but temporary here on earth unless we have a saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alam po ba ninyo yun? Kasi, kasi alam po ninyo, na kay Jesus po ang lahat ng kasagutan sa ating mga problema. So, even now, no, if you still have fear in your heart and you still have, sabi ni Kara nga, unforgiveness, no, let us take this time and opportunity right now to submit our lives to, the, to Jesus Christ. Alam po ninyo, if Jesus is the Lord of your life, He obligates Himself to take care of His own. Hindi ba, Mari? Isa ka nakakita sa gita ng pandemya. Nagutom ka ba, Mari? Kahit wala tayong trabaho. Hindi ba? God takes care of His own. So if you want to be taken care of by the Lord and Master as your boss and employer, this is the prayer that you should pray. Join Mari and I right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we are in trouble, yes. Lord. And we know that you have the answer and you have the ability to rescue us. That's why, Jesus, you are called Savior. You are the Christ. 
So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I have heard the story that you sent Jesus to die on the cross to save us from our sins, to save us from eternal damnation, to forgive us our sins, and even to heal our bodies. Yes. The, the death on the cross of Christ is a package deal. Mm. So, Panginoon Diyos, ngayong araw na ito, nag-de-decision kami, yes. nag-de-decision ako, Panginoon Jesus, ikaw ang tunay na Panginoon at ikaw ang aming tagapagligtas. Mm-hmm. Inihiling ko sa iyo na pumasok ko ngayon sa aking puso, dito ka na manahan, be Lord and Savior of my life. In the name of Jesus, forgive me for all my sins, heal me of diseases, and give me, grant me the blessings that you promised to give to those who will trust you, Jesus Christ. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, at tinidilig nyo ang aming panalangin. And Father, again, Lord God, let there be forgiveness, yes. O oh Father God, amongst those who have offended one another. Kapatid, kung merong may nagkasala sa'yo, right now, give it up. Yes. Bigay mo sa Panginoong Jesus ang iyong bitterness mm-hmm. and unforgiveness in your heart because yan ang magpapalaya sa iyo. And sinabi ng ating Panginoon, kung hindi ka magpatawad, eh papaano ka nga naman niya patatawarin? But here's the good news, pinatawad na tayo ng Panginoong Diyos. Mm-hmm. Tanggapin mo yung pagpapatawad na yan at, sang, at nang sa gayon ay maibigay mo rin yung pagpapatawad na yan sa iyong kapwa. Marami pong salamat Panginoong Diyos at tinidinig nyo ang aming dalangin sa ngala ni Jesus. Amen. Right now, I'd like to pray for someone who's, who's may problema kayo sa neck ninyo, na hindi naka-align yung, hindi naka-ano, yung, uh, naka-align yung neck ninyo. God is going to touch your neck and He's going to heal you. He's going to fix every part of that neck that needs a touch from Him in the name of Jesus. You might even hear cracking as God is fixing your bones and setting them in the right place. In the name of Jesus, receive your touch of healing right now. Someone who's been suffering from back pain, someone who's been suffering from scoliosis, in Jesus' name, Jesus. God is going to straighten that that uh, problem out now in the name of Jesus. your spine. He's going to fix it in the name of Jesus. Someone who's been suffering from from pulmonary issues, in the name of Jesus, kapatid, tanggapin mong healing mo sa oras nito in Jesus' name. Amen. Kapatid, kung ikaw ay nanalangin kasabay namin, kung tinanggap mo si Jesus bilang iyong Panginoon at Tagapagligtas, at kung nakaramdam ka ng kagalingan at pagpapalaya ng Panginoong Diyos, tawagan niyo naman kami. Please call our prayer center. At kung may katanungan pa kayo sa ating ginagawang pagdarasal, narito po ang ating mga trained prayer counselors para sagutin kayo ayon sa Biblia. Ang CBNH Prayer Center ay bukas po 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can chat with us in the in the Facebook messengers of CBN Asia, the 700 Club Asia, and I Can Breakthrough. You can also email us your prayer request Pray for me at cbnasia.org. And to know more about CBN Asia Family of Ministries, please visit our website cbnasia.org. Yan, Mari, may prayer hey, request yata. Remember, we're here now for uh, Push Pilipinas. Push stands for Pray, Unite, Share, and Hope. So see. there's another prayer request from yeah. Meg. Uh, please pray too for our OFWs in Middle East and for us here in Kuwait. Alam mo Mari, ang daming naka-cancel na flights. Oh, At desperado okay. ng ating mga OFWs kasi marami sa kanila nawala ng trabaho doon, wala nang kinikita and they are there stranded and they keep trying to take a flight but they could not. Kasi nakakancel yung flights. In fact, that's my personal concern that I lift up to God. My daughter, who's back in the U.S., four times na nakancel ang kanyang flight. So everything is so uncertain. So I understand, especially the plight of our OFWs, and we are going to pray for that. Um, our top three. Ano ba, Mari? Top three pray, uh, prayer best. item. Oh. Prayer item is... Financial, financial provision. Of course. Sino bang wala? No, marami, maraming mayaman. Ha? Hindi ito problema. Pero mas marami ang uh, sa atin ang hindi mayaman. At uh, and this is a very real concern for us. Yung mga, kung hindi makatrabaho, walang kakainin sa araw na yun. Saan ka terba? Ang dami-daming Pilipino na ganyan ang sitwasyon. So talagang it is not going to be a problem for us to pray, <laughs> especially pray sincerely because we understand how deep and how serious the problem is. 
So, shall we pray for that right now? Yeah, yeah, Mar, I just want to ano, also no, put it in context kasi nga maraming nawala ng trabaho at hindi siguradong makakabalik pa sa trabaho. Oh, kasi okay. yung kanilang negosyo mismo ay lugi na. May mga nagde-declare na rin ng bankruptcy. Oh. Ito yung mga malalaking negosyo, lalo na those related to tourism. Yes. Um, okay. Ano pa ba? Di ba yung mga... Events. Ano, I'm sorry? Events. Events. Mga Oo, events. totoo yan. Yung mga artista, mga singers. Teatro. Pati nga, diba? Oo. Sa, sa Pati nga yung mga kaibigan nga natin doon sa big network, di ba? Yes. Natuto, rin, natuto silang mananangin talaga yan kasi damang-daman nila. Ang hirap ng walang trabaho. Kaya Kas- na-uwat na wala natin. Kasama na ako dyan, Kata. Because as you know, I'm doing a area now. And ang mag- nagiging problema sa amin ngayon is paano ka babalik ng taping na may mga restrictions na Uh, distancing, etc. No? So, naglilimit na ng tao. And uh, yan ang unang papasok sa isip ko. Naglilimit ng taong pwedeng nasa set. So, lahat mm-hmm. ng taong dati may trabaho, wala ng trabaho ngayon. Tama yan. Siguro, Mari, as we pray, ano, ito na yung mga, mga nag-post ng kanilang prayer request. Sabi ni Janet, pray for a stable job for my brother, Nay, and my husband, Alex. Si Shela naman, God's provision also during this pandemic. Pray for wisdom for our government too. Okay, and I think we should pray for that. I forgot to mention that or pray for that kanina. No? From Ime, uh, pray that we can go back to work now. And from Bong, please pray for my finances and my work. And Kieta, pray for the family and the financial. And from Carmen, pray for me to be a channel of blessing <laughs> to my family and to other yeah. people too. Oh, nabanggit mo yung mga may, may kaya. Marami naman talaga sa kanilang nagbigay tulong pero sana tumulong pa sila and create jobs. <laughs> diba? That yeah, should so be si, prayer. Si Jing, oh. praying for my sister sana. Lord, makabalik na siya sa work niya. And praying also for my husband. Lord, protect and guide my husband. Always give him yes. good health every day. Alam mo, kata, nabanggit lang yung pray for wisdom for the government. Ang problema kasi dyan is kailangan nilang, uh, especially sa finance department, ano, kailangan nilang magplano kung paano makaakit ang investments mula sa ibang bayan. Eh, ang problema, mm-hmm. di ba, sa ang dami-daming, ano, sa dami ng mga nawawala ng trabaho, uh, medyo mahirap humingi ng investments ngayon kasi hindi mo matatansya, hindi mo ma-assure yung mga investors yes. na yeah. ma-deliver mo yung sinasabi mo. And they're also not sure kung kikita ba, kunyari, hotel lang gusto nilang gawin. Uh, uh, ang pasukan. Eh kung wala naman turismo, wala rin hotel. So, ang, ang laki, ga, 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 ano, ga, yes, that's uh, true. talaga ang problema. So, the, the yeah. government really needs wisdom, as, as, especially as, uh, it, yes. as far as uh, properties, uh, uh, ownership of properties goes. No? Yes. Kasi if you want to uh, uh, attract investments, you want to open up yung uh, ability of foreigners to own property. Pero as, mm-hmm. as nakikita po natin sa mga problema natin with China, kunyari, parang maraming kinakaban. Eh kung ibubuksan natin ang real estate market natin sa mga Chinese na ang, ang foreigner, pwede bumili ngayon ng ano, kinakaban sila. Eh pag sila nang may ari ng lupa. Mag-take over. <laughs> no? Maging province so, na nga ang Pilipinas <laughs> of China. Ano ba so, yan? Ang, kailangan natin i-pray-pray. May, may ka, ka ano yung, yung uh, quotation ni Presidente at that time. Sabi niya, Either we are a territory of the U.S. or we are a province of China. I don't know if you're aware, Kata, pero pabalik na ang mga ang U.S. Navy Uh-oh. sa Subic. Kasi nag-bank, nag-declare ng bankruptcy ang Hanjin Uh-oh. shipyard sa Subic uh, last year. So, naging open ngayon sa investors, Uh-oh. other investors na pumasok. Yes. Ang, ang sabi ng U.S. is, teka, kesa sa naman na uh, pumasok mm-hmm. ang China, kami na lang papasok. The benefit mm-hmm. now of this new arrangement is that it's a commercial arrangement. Uh-uh. Balik ang trabaho ng, uh, I don't know if it was the number of 10 to 30,000 workers na magkakaroon ng trabaho dun sa Subic, no, yung mga, especially yung mga, uh, yung mga galing sa Hanjin, na shipyard. Uh-uh. So that's 30,000 jobs and it's uh-uh. a commercial. Uh, okay. Sana nga trabaho ang, ang mangyayari. Uh-uh. At hindi take over. <laughs> And another one that's coming in is uh, Ostal. Ostal is a oh. an Australian shipbuilding firm. Okay. Uh, ang focus nila is paggawa ng mga warship. Tamang okay. tama rin yan because we are a an archipelago as a nation. Yes. Ang, ang kailangan, kailangan yung mga barko. Ang kailangan is barko. 
So, alam mo, Mari, na isip ko tuloy ngayon, alam mo, yung mga OFW natin nawawala ng trabaho, oh, okay. sana yan ang gat na nilang trabaho, yeah. uh, option, opportunity nila para hindi na sila umalis ng Pilipinas. So, siguro ipapanalangin natin ngayon niya, no, that the tide will really turn in spite of this pag-aagawa ng mga bansa, is it will, uh, the tide will turn in favor talaga of our people. Ang so, isa pa dyan, Kata, no, shall we pray over that? Mga... isa mm-hmm. uh, isa pa sa mga trabaho ng mga Pilipino sa Middle East originally no when we first started sending OFWs there it was to work in the oil fields sa mga Middle Eastern countries so, ang ipanalangin natin is mahanap na natin yung oil fields sa Pilipinas whether they're uh, offshore or whether they're inland eh, sana ikuha na ni Lord ilabas na ni Lord ang ating okay. All right. Shall we pray, Mari? Siguro I'll start no, with the first prayer request for our OFWs as posted by Meg in Kuwait. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, you are the Lord of the Philippines yes. and you are the Lord of the Filipinos wherever they are. Oh God, this country has been dedicated to you and we have heard that this is the year of our jubilee, yes. oh Father God. So Lord God, kasa, saan mang bahagi ng mundo ang aming mga Pilipino ngayon, Lord, would you touch them? Mm. Would you protect them? Yes. Would you heal them? Would you provide for them? Would you give them your peace? Especially, Lord God, for our overseas Filipino workers who are in dire need right yes. now of jobs, of opportunities, of finances. Lord, tiniis nilang pagkahiwalay sa kanilang pamilya dito, Panginoon, at ng ibang bansa dahil gusto nilang makaprovide sa kanilang pamilya. Tapos ngayon ay nawala pa. Panginoong Diyos, would you have mercy upon yes. them? A lot of them are stranded and want to come home. Lord, would you pave the way? Lord God, for their safe return back to our nation, O oh Father God. And we pray, O oh Father God, that there will be an op- opportunities for them to work here, as Mari has mentioned. Lord God, plans for Subic, for the shipyard, for shipbuilding, O oh Father God, and many other Uh, options and opportunities that may open to us, Lord God. We pray that this may be for the Filipinos yes. first and foremost, if not alone, O oh Father God. At hindi po mauwi ang trabaho ito sa mga foreigners, kundi para po sa aming mga kababayan. At nang sa gayon, they can be reconciled, O oh Father God, and they may return yes. to their families because it is your will, Father God, that the families will not be separated for husband and wife to not be separated, but for them to stay together. And yes. Father, I pray, Lord God, na habang sila yung naghihintay ngayon, Lord, you will take this time, Lord God, to visit them, Lord God, and they will really seek your face. before they seek your hand, O oh God, in their situation. Yes, Lord. Lord God, merciful, almighty Lord, we trust. We put our trust in you. We entrust our OFWs to you in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And then for financial provisions too, uh, O oh God, uh, for Janet and for her brother, Nay, and her husband, Alex. Also for Shela, O oh Father God. and Ime who want to go back to work and to have provisions during this time. We also pray uh, on behalf of Bong, na sana po yung work niya ay masecure o bumalik na. And even for Kieta, oh Father God, for finances, Lord God, to come their way. Lord, we pray, Lord, na may mga kakatok sa kanilang pintuan at maghahatid ng tulong, Panginoong Diyos. At yun malalaman nila ay galing po sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoong Diyos, kagaya ng prayer request ni Carmen, that she may be a channel of blessing to her family and to other people too. Lord, would you grant her request? And we pray that you will raise more Carmens, O oh Father God, who want to help, Lord God, their family, their relatives and friends and other people. Yes, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, yung mga bukas po ang palad, yan po ang hukulugan po ninyo ng pagpapala. Yeah. para ipasa yung pagpapalang yun doon sa iba. So maraming maraming pong salamat, Panginoon John, sa mga kagaya ni Carmen, Panginoon, na gusto pong magbigay. Salamat. Shoutout naman tayo kay Melanie sa Kuwait. Hi! Shoutout kay Diego from Saudi Arabia. Si Fe naman from Paris, France. At si Giselle. Hi! Yes. Kumusta kayo lahat? <laughs> si Jing okay. din pala. Ano, I want to ano, just uh, nag-prayer request siya. 
pray for my sister na sana Lord makabalik na siya sa work niya and praying also for my husband Lord Basta protect him yeah. protect their family and uh, grant them good health as well in Jesus name and and Mary wisdom for our government can you pray for that kasi nabanggit na natin na, na yun yung prayer request ni Solomon Uh-oh. at binigay ni God so can we stand in the gap and pray for wisdom on Sige. behalf of our government oh isama na rin natin itong prayer for God's protection for the family ni Josephine pray for covering by the blood of Jesus for my entire family si Kathleen naman God's protection for my daughter who's going back to work next month so father in the name of Jesus we come to you now uh asking for your wisdom lord to be poured out upon our leaders lord from the president all the way down lord to the the, the lowly as the public servants my lord kailangan po nila ng uh, kailangan po nila ng inyong wisdom ng inyong pagtuturo sa kanila lord lord let the spirit of righteousness dwell upon each and every one lord we need supernatural wisdom lord to come down from heaven to from from you to to come upon our leaders lord especially those lord who are are planning the finances and who are, are, are deciding what to do, Lord, uh, to come out of the COVID uh, pandemic issue, Father. In the name of Jesus, would you touch each and every one now? And Lord, we also pray for Kathleen and Josephine, Lord, for protection for their families. In the name of Jesus, Lord, would you just send your angels to go in front of them and protect them from every disease and every other illness in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Mary, I just want to continue your prayers for the government. Father, in Jesus' name, would you would you just come, Lord God, during the meetings, Lord God, of the IATF. Yes, and Lord. even when the people around our president are counseling him, Lord, would you put godly people who will grant godly counsel to our president right now. And we pray, Lord, that you will hush and silence. Yes, Lord those negative voices oh father god that out are out there only to make gulo yes. para guluhin lang at gumawa ng kapahamakan uh, sa aming presidente at sa aming pambayan father in the name of jesus would you visit even our president in, in his sleep oh mm-hmm. father god because you said so that in the last days lord god you will give dream uh, old men will dream dreams yes, lord. lord god and young men will see visions Lord, we, we ask for your supernatural dreams to come upon our president, even our elderly statesmen, and even, Lord, your vision to come upon the young leaders of our land, O oh, Father, yes, that, that they will be consulted, that their voices will be heard, O oh, God, at yung kanila pong mga pamamaraan na manggagaling po sa inyo, ang siyang pong magaganap para sa aming bansang Pilipinas. Maawa po kayo sa aming mga kababayan sa panahon ito, Panginoong Diyos. Tulungan niyo po ang aming mga leader at nang sa gayon ay matulungan nila ang aming mga mamamayan. Yes, may Maraming prayer request tayo from Lelaine. God's protection provision, prayer request naman ni Daria, ingatan po ang buong family ko at mga kaibigan, mas i-bless po ang kabuhayan namin at bigyan na po ng pagkakakitaan kahit nasa bahay lang at mag- mawalan ng trabaho ang asawa ko. Okay, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Lelaine and Daria's prayer request. In the name of Jesus, would you move now to grant their requests, Lord, to grant their the desires of their hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, you're watching CBN Asia's uh, Push Pilipinas, which stands for Pray, Unite, Share, and Hope. Please post your comments, your prayer requests, and praise reports. Doon po sa box below the CBN Asia 700 Club Asia and I can break through FB pages. We are also live live streaming on CBN Asia YouTube channel. Alam po niyo our theme today is ano nga bentin natin the top five, top five. prayer request. requests of our people and uh, number five was peace and we prayed for that. Number four was salvation of family and we prayed for that. And number three was financial provision and number two. At hanggang ngayon, pumapasok pa rin yung mga ganitong prayer request. God's protection for the family. Siyempre naman, Mari, kasi yun ang mga primary concern sa mga tao ngayon is to stay healthy, hindi ba? For them to to not be affected by this Top pandemic. Top one yun, Kata. Top one yung, Ay, yung health. Ay, in-reveal mo naman si Tapa. O sige. <laughs> eh, pinuntahan mo na eh. <laughs> Hindi, top two yung protection. No? Protection for the family. At ang daming nag-request. O sige, top one, sabi ni Mari, is good health and healing. 
Kasi yun talaga naman ang primary concern natin lahat. Correct. Correct. So we're going to pray for our top one and our top two na maraming ang nagre-request na rin Pero bago for that na, even shout, now. Shout out muna tayo kay Julie from Saudi Arabia at si Jessica from Hong Kong. Ano ba sinasabi sa Ash? Ano, uh, paano bang niye? Ano yun? Pagpati sa Hong Kong? Kung hey pa, Choy? <laughs> Hindi na bali. <laughs> okay. okay. Prayer request si Roberto sa nga praise. Si Shea, Shea, Shea ba? Thank you, thank you. Shea, please yata. Roberto is pray for God's uh, <laughs> continuous protection for my family, especially to my two children who are working in Makati. Ako. Si Biena naman, may prayer request pray for my family and relatives for good health and safety this time of pandemic. Please pray din po para sa amin ng baby ko ng good okay. health hanggang mailuwal ko siya. She's pregnant. Wow. Oo, ang hirap niya na no, yung mga buntis ngayon. Kasi kanina, kausap ko lang si ating Lara Kigaman, ang ating mm. Miss International 2005, who's pregnant. Six months pregnant. Ah. Ano? And kinumusta ko siya. Siyempre, it's difficult for pregnant women right now because they need their actually monthly checkup, lalo na pagka last trimester na nila. At ang hirap pumunta sa ospital oh. ngayon. Oh. Di ba? Kasi kailangan mag-ingat. So, medyo yun ang konting mga concerns talaga ng mga pregnant women. So, I think we should pray for that, Mary. And also, other prayer requests, uh, uh, prayer f- Prayer for our science and technology also. Pray for wisdom for our scientists and doctors mm-hmm. to discover a vaccine against COVID-19. To pray for unity among scientists worldwide in fighting COVID-19. And of course, pray for protection for our medical frontliners. Diba? Hanggang ngayon, oh, actually, may neighbor kami. Uh, we just found out today, Marina, nag- he's a doctor at nag-positive siya. Okay. sa COVID-19. Kaya medyo naka-red zone ngayon yung um, neighbor so, kasi asymptomatic pa man sin si doctor eh, kasi sila yung naka-exposed. Frontliner eh. Oh, oh. Correct. And then we also pray for budget for the government to improve yes, our yes. science and medical technology and maybe how to respond to uh, pandemics and crisis like this. And we pray for salvation. Salvation and wisdom for our scientists. Shall yeah. we pray, Mary? Sige. Father, in Jesus' name, we there's so much that this uh, country needs, Panginoon, pero marami ka rin tinuturo sa amin sa oras na ito, Panginoon. There's so much we have learned in the last six, uh, three months. Uh, Lord, we thank you for what you have done, what you're continuing to do, what you are going to do in this country, Lord. We're asking even now, Lord, for, uh, again, wisdom for our scientists, supernatural wisdom uh, for our scientists, for our inventors, for those, Lord, who you have gifted you precisely put them on this planet, in this country, Lord, to bring blessings to your people. So sa oras na ito, Panginoon, hinihingi po namin na kayo po ay kumilos ka nila mga buhay and cause them to discover these cures, Lord, discover these uh, 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 nutri- nutritional supplements, Lord, that will help us yes. to fight this uh, pandemic and defeat it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I lift up to you the prayer request of Edita for healing for her son who's in depression and, and probably lost a job and, and also for his spiritual revival. In the name of Jesus, Edita, we stand in prayer with you that your yeah. son will be healed from depression mm-hmm. and, and that he will be revived in his yes. spirit and, and, and even in his soul mm-hmm. if, if he can just put his trust in our Lord yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. So Edita, as a contact point, we, we, we pray for you that yes. you will lay a hand on your son every night and you will pray for him in faith and the Lord will heal him and revive him in Jesus' name. Also for Blesida, healing for diabetes because yes. lagi daw siyang nahihina. So Father, in the name of Jesus, would you touch Blesilda yes. and heal her from this diabetes? Yes. Lord, we stand in faith, O oh God. And I pray, Lord God, that you will also grant her wisdom to take care of her body, Lord God, so that this diabetes will be removed from her sister Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Shannon, for her sister-in-law, 
O Father God, who is now in the hospital because of stroke, Lord, lay your hand of her to recover fast in the name of Jesus. We also pray, Lord, for all the pregnant women right now who are having difficulty and even fear for their their, their safety and the safety of their unborn children. O Father God, in the name of Jesus, you are the one who knits this, this children or this child together in their mother's womb. So, Father, this mga batang kung ito, ito Panginoon, this, this, are your, this is your idea, or Father God. You are the creator, yes. oh Father. So, would you keep safe, Lord God, mm-hmm. all of these unborn children in yes. the name of Jesus, even as you, Lord God, keep safe and healthy all these pregnant moms in Jesus' name. Jesus, Lord, yes. may prayer din po si Aimee. Please uh, pray for protection for my family and loved ones and to grant my prayers na magkaroon na po kami ng baby, Jesus, ng yes. husband in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Oh, Father God, you are creator, Lord God. Would you grant Aimee's request? And Lord, we trust and believe, Lord God, that one day he will, Aimee yes. will call 700 Club yes. and tell us that the Lord has heard Amen. her prayer yes. in the name of Jesus. Mari, marami yeah. tayo. Uh, please, Sabna, please pray for Liziel, Jane Sagar Gonzalez, and OFW from Riyadh for complete healing from fever, back pain, cough, and experience of shortening of breath. Thank you and God bless you. In Jesus' name, Father, would you lay your hands now upon uh, Lizelle uh, and would you touch her body and give her complete healing, Lord. If that's COVID, we rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Be gone from that body. In Jesus' name, be healed. In Jesus' name. See, Emelina naman, complete healing of her GERD. Father, in Jesus' name. Glenn. Glenn then. Glenn then. Reflux GERD. GERD. In Jesus' yes. name, Lord, would you touch both these bodies and bring healing, Lord, to the entire digestive system in Jesus' name. Sirani, Sirani naman, naman Mari is praying for healing also uh, for his brother uh, Toli uh, Amarnani from edema, heart, uh, diabetic, and hypertension, also for normal results Jesus. of the blood test. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, yeah. these people are coming to you in faith. Yes. Lord God, and we're standing in the gap with them for their healing. So grant it, we pray in the name of Jesus. May pray request din si Merlin. Pray for my apo si Bea, who's one month old. Nasa hospital para gumitin ang hydrocephalus at infection sa dugo. Pray uh-huh. for lakas ng loob, kapayapaan ng puso at isipan para sa kanganyang inya, ina na nagbabantay sa kanya at naway gumaling na rin ang kanyang pagkasisayan. Yes. Lord, have mercy on this child. Yes, have Lord. mercy on the mother, Lord God, yes, who just Lord. gave birth to this child. Lord, hear the cries of their yes. heart. Yes, we Lord. cry with them, Lord God, for your mercy. Yes, oh, your mercies which are Father. new each morning, yes, oh Father Lord. God. Would you heal Bea right now? Yes, Lord God, even the infection from her blood, remove it right now in the name of Jesus and yes. let your peace come upon yes. this family, even your provisions, Lord God, yes, Lord. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Si Anna naman is praying uh, dialysis ng father niya di- father niya dialysis patient good health for her family financially and hopefully makabalik na sa work in Jesus name Father we pray for the father of Anna to keep it uh, to return to good health to perfect health for her family and for blessings financially na mak- makapagtrabaho na sila in Jesus name Amen. Si Virginia then praying for healing for my mother who has seven years bedridden and protection Ooh. also for my family, Lord. Lord, would you touch the mom of Virginia, yes, Lord, Lord God, that even in her bedridden state, Lord God, would your peace come from the tip of her head to the soles of her feet, O oh, Father God, and give her your joy yes, and your Lord. peace, yes. O oh, Father God, that you that she is all right. Mm. that she will be all right because you care for her yes. in Jesus' name. You know, God said, cast your cares upon me because he cares for you. So, mga kapatid, all your cares right now, itong mga prayer requests na ito, itapon natin sa paana ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Gustong gusto po niya yan yes. na tayo ay lalapit. Kasi tayo po ay kanyang mga anak. Hindi ba tayong mga magulang gusto natin na lumalapit sa atin yung mga ating mga anak. And dahil siya ang Panginoon ng lahat, meron siya po siyang ability to, to grant our prayer request. Especially if it's good for us. So sino ba naman ang, ang magulang na hindi magbibigay ng kagalingan o tutulong sa kanilang anak na nangangailangan ng kagalingan, ng nangangailangan ng, ng papakain para sa kanilang pamilya? You know, God wants to do that. We only have to ask. Ask and you shall receive. Knock 
and it shall be open for you. Si Irene naman, so, I love the face of Irene kata. Sabi niya, please pray for my debts na ma-fully paid ko lahat this year. Oh, amen. By faith. Love that. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' and, name, I agree with you. So, tapos sabi pa niya, makapag-start uli kami ng magandang business. Thank you, 700 Club Asia. Okay, in Jesus' name, may it be done to you as you have believed. In Jesus' name, receive amen. your financial provision and a good business. Si din din din, uh, pray for good health, safety, and protection for my whole family. Pray for a positive outlook in life despite this pandemic, especially Amen. for my family. Din din, we, this is our prayer for you and your family and for the entire Filipinos that we will see the flip side of this pandemic and, and learn and learn from this experience and know that God is God Almighty and He cares for us. And like we prayed earlier, when he, we make Him Lord of our lives, if He's the boss, employer of our lives, He's, he's ob- obligating Himself mm. to take care of His family, of His people, of His employees, mm. of His workers. Sure. Hindi ba? We expect that from our employers. How can we not expect that from God if He is Master and Lord of our lives? So everyone, in the name of Jesus, if you believe that, welcome Jesus right now as your Lord and Savior and Rescuer and the Master of your life. And expect God to take care of you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Samuel, well, I pray for my son. He told me earlier that he experienced dizziness. He's just nine years old. In Jesus' name, Father, we rebuke that illness, that we rebuke that dizziness. In Jesus' name, be healed, anak, in Jesus' name. Si Janina, right. I pray that I'll overcome anxiety, fear, and worries, and healing ng mom ni Marisa. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke that anxiety. We rebuke that those fears and worries. And we, Lord, we would you lay your hand now on Marisa's mom and grant a complete healing in Jesus' name. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From Dimple naman, pray for healing of fibroadenoma, gallstone, and thyroid. Uh, in Jesus' name, oh Father God, napakarami po nito, Panginoon, pero walang imposible sa inyo. Amen. So Amen. we ask that you touch Dimpo, Lord God, and you will heal her. Amen. Lord God, if you're her, his, her Lord, oh Father God, hindi po mahirap para sa inyo ito, yes, Panginoon. Lord. So would you touch her body right now in Jesus' name? Amen. Even for the financial blessings, the stable job, the peace of mind, Lord God, that she is asking for, would you grant it to her? Yes. And even the quick healing for her mm. parents. Panginoon Diyos, maraming maraming pong salamat at yes. you hear our prayers. Mm. From Ace, uh, please include my family for protection and peace mm. of mind. In, in Jesus' name, we Jesus say name. yes and yes. amen. Thank you and God bless you too, Ace. Also for Eric, healing of my wife in her left jaw and stomach pain. Father, in Jesus' name, will you touch her right now, Eric's wife, O oh, Father God. Lord, and show her that you love her so much, Lord God, that she's even feeling your touch uh, tangibly, O oh God. Nararamdaman po niya ang inyong paghihipo sa Kanya, Panginoon Diyos, at instantly, Panginoon, tanggalin niyo po, Panginoon, yes. yung nararamdaman yung sakit mm. in Jesus' name. From Jonathan, uh, I pray na bigyan ako ng work ni Lord sa panahon ng pandemic na ito. Father, for Jonathan and all those who come to you in faith and need, Lord God, uh, a job, uh, at least financial provisions from through different means and we don't know how that is Lord God because you are creator and you are creative Mm -hmm. Lord God Lord you are also the one who downloaded creativity to your creation oh Father so Father our prayer Lord not just for for Jonathan but even those Lord God for who are looking for means Lord God of financial provision and jobs Father Lord would you show each one Lord God, what kind of talents and abilities, oh God, you have given to them. Lord, we remember, Lord God, even the widow, Lord, who who the, the prophet uh, Elijah instructed even to check, Lord God, at nandiscovery niya na marami pala siyang oil na nakatago, at sabi ni Elijah na yun ang ibenta mo, mm-hmm. at, and that will provide Uh, for your her and for her son as well. At hindi, mabubuhay sila, hindi sila mamamatay. Lord, would you show people what they have, Lord God, 
and and let them and trust this to you again as I remember right now Pete uh, Mary no mm-hmm. yung bata nag-offer ng loaves and fish kay yeah. Jesus mm-hmm. who prayed and dedicated these loaves and uh, fish to the Lord at the and the Lord multiplied whatever uh, they had and whatever was offered to the Lord Lord that's my prayer for all those who are seeking for provisions right mm-hmm. now O oh, Father God, na mangyayari po sa kanila yung milagrong pinakita ng Jesus yeah. na naayon yeah. sa Biblia. Yeah. And my prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, that during this time, imbis na magreklamo tayo at maging mm-hmm. desperado tayo, mm-hmm. seek the Lord in His Word, in prayer. Because God is waiting. He's knocking at the door and waiting for all of us to let Him in. As Father, He wants to participate and to be part of our lives so mm-hmm. right now don't despair yeah. let God who loves you so much mm-hmm. into your lives into your homes let him eat with you he wants to fellowship with all of us and then you will see God move yes. on your behalf because yeah. he's your father he's your mm-hmm. healer he's mm-hmm. your master lord employer and he will yes. take care of everything. Kata, may comment si Jewel Lobaton. Sabi niya, sabi niya agree Hi. with you in faith in all your prayers, Sister Kata. So, Hi, yung Jewel. prayers ni Kata, nag agree si Jewel. Pero sa mga prayers ko, hindi siya nag agree <laughs> Aham. Mm-hmm. Pakikilala na kita kay Jewel. Hindi mo pa pakilala si Jewel. Nakilala <laughs> ko, kilala ko. I'm oh, just kidding. O, Pilipina siya. Thank you po for watching. Uh, CD yes. Presents the, uh, pray. Ano? Ano? Ano ba tayo? Pray for your needs and requests. Night. Unite as a people in faith, okay. share your answered prayers, and we encourage you to put your hope in God. Push, Filipinas. Amen. And We're please like, remember, oh, huh? it, 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 push stands for pray, unite, share, and hope. But it also stands for yes. pray until something, until something happens. happens. So kung hindi pa nangyayari, hindi hingi din sa Panginoon, don't stop praying. Keep praying. Even if Jewel Lobato doesn't agree with you, keep praying because someday Jewel will agree with you. Ikaw <laughs> talaga? Of course, Jewel agrees. Favorite lang niya ako kasi oh, friendship. Kasi nga namin. Diba? Kasi kung may tanong oh. po kayo sa ating ginawang pagdarasal, narito ang ating mga trained prayer counselors para sagutin, sagutin ayon sa, sa Biblia ang inyong mga tanong. Ang CBN Asia Prayer Center ay bukas 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can chat with us in the Facebook messengers of CBN Asia, the 700 Club Asia, and I Can Breakthrough. You can also email us at prayforme at cbnasia.org. So to know more about the CBN Asia family of ministries, please visit our website, cbnasia.org. And you know, I just want to remind everyone that every night, 700 Club Asia is on GMA from Monday to Friday at 12 midnight. So, nandyan pa po tayo apart from our uh, nightly shows here on our FB pages. And Push Pilipinas is live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. on our FB pages. So, tomorrow join naman, us. Tomorrow okay. man, kapit lang. Tomorrow kapit is, lang. Naku, no, maganda rin yun kasi madalas may celebrity guest tayo doon. Ngayon si Mari, tsaka ako lang ang medyo celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> Pagpasensyaan nyo na kami ha? We've been here for a while oh. Speaking And of then, uh, celebrities uh, Shout out to Ricky from Baguio Ngayon, uh, celebrity <laughs> na rin Ricky <laughs> yeah. At alam po ninyo, you know, we're able to produce the 700 Club continuously and also programs like this, our super book, and we are able to run our prayer center and we're able to send out help to the, our needy kababayans for our Operation Blessing because of your support Correct. and your donation. So if you want to be part of our ministry and support CBN Asia so we can continue pr- producing more inspiring shows for our netizens and also for our televiewers, please go to our website, cbnasia.org slash and gi- uh, give. Again, ulitin ko ha, ang gulo ko ba? cbnasia.org slash give because we have a special gift for you. You want to okay. watch this special gift? Are we ready? 
In this world, we will have worries, troubles, and trials, but we can emerge victorious as we rise above our fears and insecurity. Discover the keys to achieving security in the midst of an unsafe world in this online audio teaching from the 700 Club Asia host, Peter Kairouz. So let me ask you, how secure are you today? Get access to this exclusive web streaming when you donate 500 pesos to CBN Asia. Plus, an audio teaching on security in the midst of crisis. Text now. Feeling sad? Di makatulog sa sobrang kakaisip. May sakit? Takot harapin ng future. Hopeless? Wala nang makapitan. Don't worry. Huwag mawala ng pag-asa. Nandito kami para mag-pray. Together, let's believe that God will answer our prayers. Sama-sama tayong mag-push Pilipinas. Pray, unite, share, hope. Push Pilipinas! <laughs> Shout out muna na tayo kay uh, Jet yeah. Net from Davao City at may comment na naman si Joel Lobato nag-agree pa rin siya in faith with all your prayers ata. Sa so, akin pa rin hindi sa iyo. <laughs> hindi pa rin. Inulit so, so comment from the praise report. Thank you Lord for answered prayer. Birthday cake for my apost. First birthday celebration at may bonus pa po na pizza. Wow. First love. Amen. Si comment naman from Ferdinand. Salamat po, uh, salamat po sa panalangin. God bless po. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Alam po ninyo, even if we're off the air, bukas kasi ang ating prayer center. You can continue calling and you can continue posting sa below ho, sa comment box for your prayer requests, answered prayers. We'd love to hear your answered prayer, especially if you prayed with us and you felt the touch of the Lord, let us know so we can praise God together with you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mary. I think a final comment from Prince Coffee Man. Thanks for your prayers, Madam Kata and Sir Mari. Oh, uh, yan na. Pinansin ka na. Si Prince Coffee Man yan. At least ako favorite. Pareho tayong favorite ni Prince Coffee. Oh, sige. Thank you so much, dear friends. And we'll see you again. Like tomorrow, kapit lang. 8 o'clock p.m. live on our FB pages. Thank you Comment so much and God bless you. Sabi ni Lani, I received the healing touch of the Lord. Amen. So Amen. Thank, you. Good Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Marie. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you.